my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! I have been trying to get this footage for two real life days. Apparently the sandstorm doesn't work. So I had to mod the game to get the sandstorm to work and it still took me two days in game time to stand here to get it to work. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Conan Exiles. This is Weehawk and Funcom, ladies and gentlemen. Funcom. Fun. Com. And it's not like the Sandstorm is like an add-on or something. This is an official game system that is just simply isn't working. And this game has been out for what? Six years? God damn it! Uh, here's the Call of Jebel Sag that we, uh recruited last time, and uh, she's an agility fighter. I just have her in basic hyena fur armor right now, but I need to get her agility weapon so she'll be effective. Uh, here's the dismantling bench I was talking about. Um, put this stuff away. And then we'll make the, um, uh, the Shemite headpiece, or any piece of armor, but I'm gonna make the headpiece to get that raider armor done. Thanks to our friends, the spiders. And boom. That's, that looks kind of nice, actually. I don't mind that helmet. I'll turn it, I suppose. I'm not going to use it, though, so I'm going to get some of my silk back. Alright, so that's one off the checklist. What's left? Enter the unnamed city, survive a purse, destroy a dragon, and create the map room. Well, three of these things are inside the unnamed city, so that's probably what we're going to be doing. After I put the silk away. Alright, we're ready to go. Let's head on over to the city. Now, this dragon, I don't think we're going to attempt to fight right now. I'm not sure how good I'm going to be against him. Um, there are some smaller dragons in here, technically baby dragons. Is the Oh, Lord, he coming. Um, oh, he galloping, dude. There's some baby dragons in here that count as a dragon, and that's what I'm going to go pick on. The big brave warrior killing the baby dragons, but... Um, I think the first thing we're going to go to first, though, is the archive where the map room is. That's where we're going to get the pattern for the map room. It's also, we're going to learn a lot of lore about what we've been doing here. There's the unnamed city, Mark. Now, technically, um, this well right here will lead to where I need to go, but I can't get back out of it if I go into it. Pretty sure this goes right to the archive. Let me get off the horse and check. Uh, yep, that's map room. But uh, we're gonna go around the long ways. It's safer.
tough motherfuckers. And we're using that uh, legendary uh, mace we picked up, the weird. It's pretty nice. Until I can craft something a little better, anyways. Or find something better. There are other legendaries, so there might be a better legendary than this one. Oh, hello. Do you even see him until I put my torch on? In here is the archive. There used to be a bunch of skeletons in here. Look like they took them out. Good. Oop, can't get the horse through. I have to stay out here, Stormcloud. treasure. Why is it just a random chest here with iron bars in it? That's weird. Now, these uh, shells with the papyrus scrolls on them, one of these you can click on and get, um, I don't remember what it's called. It's like uh, Esoteric Library or something like that. It's a crafting perk. There we go. Um, Dark Library. Yeah, and what you could do is you get these things in in-game called Fragments of Power. You bring the Fragments of Power there and trade them for things. Do not be afraid, bonded one. I am just a shadow, a whisper of what once was. Before the fall, when this kingdom raised knighted pillars of black stone to the sky, I was called the Archivist. Have you come to seek a way free of the bonding bracelet, human? There is only one chance, and a very slim one at that. You must assemble the items of power that were present at its creation. The diadem of the giant kings, the mask of the witch queen, the tears of two races, the star of the champion, the heart of the sands, the shining trapezohedron, and the Serpent Ring of Set. I fear I sent you an impossible question. The diadem of the Giant Kings was once worn upon the brow of the Priest King. He fell in battle with Tyros, the Deathbringer, in the battlefields of the North. More than that, I cannot say. The Priest King was the most passionate and most volatile among us. I fear his downfall will not have been a simple matter. The Witch Queen of Lemuria was our great enemy in the dying days of our race. Her people came to us as refugees, but even as they took our succor, they plotted our downfall. She was present at the creation of the bracelet, lending her power to ours. Her fate is unknown to me. But she always ruled from her city in the swamp to the east. The tears of two races were simple to obtain when we performed the ritual. We simply took our tears and combined them. But who is left to weep for both races? Although tales persist of Tyros the Deathbringer, he was born of both races. Our blood mingled with theirs. His tears could be enough to fulfill the requirement. Obtaining them would be quite the feat. The Star of the Champion lies buried beneath the sands of the arena in the east. I remember well the day that Tyros killed the mighty dragon. He wept to defeat such a noble creature. He placed the star upon its brow. As far as I know, there it remains. The Heart of the Sands, or simply the Scourge Stone, was an artifact of power. The Priest King used it to create a weapon, the Sandstorm, that he swore would be our salvation. He gave it to the Warmaker 
to unleash upon our enemies. As far as I know, it was destroyed in the attempt. But perhaps the Warmaker has more insight. The Serpent Ring of Set. It was our most powerful artifact. It was kept in a tomb beneath this city. And then one day, a human came. He had all the words and signs of power. He passed through every ward and trap we had put in place. He took the Serpent Ring of Set, and he left. If you wonder why you wear the bracelet, wonder no more. It must have been this man who called himself Tochamon. Dedicate yourself to recovering the other artifacts. You will not recover the Serpent Ring of Set as long as you are trapped in this empire. Perhaps, perhaps it will be enough. When you have the artifacts, you must place them on the receptacle north of here. Once you have filled this vessel with the artifacts of power, it will create a keystone. To remove your bracelet, all that is required is to touch it with the keystone. And then, Mort, you will be free. But freedom will mean giving up all that these lands have come to offer you. So choose wisely. How did I die? I was betrayed by your kind in a place called the Circle of Swords. I went in good faith to meet the Witch Queen. She had promised peace. I was cut down. My bones were left to rot in the wind. And yet, my spirit has always belonged to the Archives, human. And so, I am here. And here, I shall remain. Every new learning is a new beginning. Remember that. Okay, so we learned cartography from him, and that's going to allow us to create one of these map rooms. And yes, this is about the size of it, too. But I also learned a lot of things of how we get this bracelet off, which is the end game. We need to get this bracelet off so we can get out of this place. Because if we try to cross the ghost fence, it'll kill us. So we got a lot of things to collect. Now, we do have something um, called the Staff of the Triumvirate that uh, we picked up from the uh, Abyssal Remnant and the Dregs. So that's something. I don't remember what it what that goes into, though, but I believe it is part of the quest to get the bracelet off. Go out here and hit this obelisk, and then we'll go see if we can't find the War Maker. I know he's around here. And he's closer to the area I need to get to for the dragons. Got that done. More skeletons. the fuck back. I'm fine with these normal skeletons. I just don't want to fight the, a lot of this uh, lizard man skeletons. These guys are tough. tell from the map where I need to go. I, I know it more by eye than I do by the map. Oh god, I didn't see that skeleton until he stood up. Let's shoot my horse, you shitbag. There's another one too, shit. I didn't see him. Fucker. I don't think it's up these stairs. I think up these stairs is uh, one of the ways you get into the city. Um, I think it's the Wait, there it is. I think I saw it. It's down here and around the corner. God 
damn it, you leave me alone? How many dead people are in this city? Oh god, one of the wizards. Die, you fuck. I think my uh, regular one hand, my regular like light attacks are doing more damage than the, than the heavy attacks. This is what I think I saw over here then. Yep, yeah, okay, that platform with the, the four torches on it, that's where Kale is. I believe his name is Kale. Out of the way, prick. Oh, missed my turn. off me. I'm gonna learn some more information from this guy too. Here we are. This guy's a little less dead than the other one. Hey, step my horse in the ass. Fuck you. Why are they always aggroing on the horses? I smell you, human. The stench of your kind has not improved throughout the eons. You shut your mouth, you fuck! Ashes and dust, human. Ashes and dust. All that remains of what we once were. An echo of an echo. In my mind, I still walk the streets of our city. The iron scent of blood as I pass the temple of the old serpent. The thrumming power in my veins as I chant the ritual of summoning. The intoxication and ecstasy of knowledge. <sighs> Ashes and dust. When the world was shattered, your people came to us as refugees. We were generous. We gave them the Wild North. They built a city there amongst the trees and practiced weird sciences and worshipped their demon gods. For a thousand years, there was peace and trade among our peoples. But your kind is ever seeking, ever grasping, ever multiplying. War was inevitable. And when it came, it was terrible. I see that you wear the bracelet, human. When the war between our peoples began, we created such to bend the prisoners of war to our bidding. My kind are long-lived and slow to replenish our numbers. And as we dwindled in the war, we increasingly came to rely on human prisoners to provide us with labor. To that end, we created the bracelets to bond your kind, to control your movements, to allow you to understand our language and to prevent your kind from escaping. But that was an eon ago. To what purpose they have now been attuned, I cannot say. I was one of the triumvirate that ruled this land. The archivist concerned himself primarily with the collection of knowledge, and the priest king had dominion over our spirits and the rituals of our faith. My people called me the War Maker, for it was my duty to keep them safe. And for a while, I did my duty. I held the northern passages against the humans. Together with the archivist, I established the watchtowers to warn us of the coming of the humans. They burn still, bonded one. When their color changes, it is because those of your kind have crossed the borders to our kingdom with the intent to slay, burn, and kill. In the end, we were betrayed. During the skirmish in the north, the humans revealed a new weapon, forged of their strange science. It smashed through the ranks of my troops, turning those captured in its blast into solid stone. Those who survived fled south to lick our wounds. During this moment of weakness, the priest king came to me with a proposal. A new ritual to counter the human sciences. A powerful magic to scour the landscape and drive them forth in desperation. I agreed. Do you understand, human? 
In ages past, this was the most fertile land in our empire. And then I unleashed the magic that created the sandstorm. And I lost control of it. I betrayed my people to a slow, dwindling doom. I have been alone in the darkness for a long time, human. Few have come to me over the eons. But there was a man who came here years ago. I had not spoken with another being for thousands of years. And there was a hunger in me for conversation. He did not wear a bracelet as you do. So he learned my speech. And he listened to me talk of this city and what it once was. And for a while, as I described it to him, it lived again in my mind. Perhaps I spoke too much. When I told him of the greatest artifact of our religion, the Serpent Ring of Set, he left me to search for it. And now your kind come into my city again, wearing the slave bonds and disturbing the dead. Time has taught me that coincidences are simply patterns that I have not yet understood. Ashes and dust, human. And now you repeat Ashes yourself, dickhead. All that remains of what we once were. Well, uh, dude said that he would tell me more about the Scourge Stone, but he didn't say a fucking thing about it, really. I still walk the streets of our city. Oh, shut the fuck up. scent of blood as I pass the Temple of the Old Serpent. Well, I guess we'll have to learn more about that on our own. I happen to know where one piece of it is, but... I don't remember where the others are. I think I might know where to find out, though. Now, down here, up this way, is the spawning pools. See, I know my way around. Some of these goddamn pesky skeletons. It's like I'm in Castlevania. Now, right down there, that's the Red Mother. That's the Queen Dragon. I don't think I'm going to mess with her right now. But in this area are her little children, and that's one of the ones I'm going to take out. And one of those guys down there. Okay, I can't... I think I... Can, yeah, I don't think I tell him to stand guard. No, I can't. I just have to tell him to wait. Um, go ahead and drink water. Is this, this is my last perk point. Oh, I hit max level. Yeah, I'm 60. Okay, well, that's that's good news. Uh, we can start getting into some in-game stuff now. There's the library. I, I knew it was esoteric something. Library of esoteric artifacts. Uh, we have all these Grandmaster things to get through. Um, I have a certain amount of points. I can't wasting them because I can't take everything yet. There's Grandmaster Blacksmith. Uh, I'm definitely taking the Star Metal Pickaxe. That's a no-brainer. Um, I don't need the Akarani and I'll take Legendary Butcher as well. I have all of that. I'll decide on the rest of that later. Let's just go ahead and do this. While I'm in a most dangerous place, I'll look at that. You can see the size difference. Alright, you little bastard. You should be able to tame these guys and ride them. He's horse size. I can ride him. Pretty good. And this guy's like an in-game enemy. I know he's only a one, a one star, but a one skull, really. And that's all she wrote there. Destroy dragon. We get dragon bone, dragon horn, brimstone, and we're actually not even getting hide. We're getting leather. Oh, and damien blood. You got some demon blood there. Sorry to murder your children. 
I'm not really that sorry. Alright, let's get the hell out of this place. Yeah, but you know what? I have to know. I have to know. Alright, let's see how tough you really are. Oh, you're a fire breather. That's new. Well, not new. I mean, you're a bucket dragon, but compared to the little guys, they don't breathe fire. I think I'm confused there. You are attacking where I was. You need to attack where I'm going to be. It's like playing Galaga. Actually, I'm doing pretty decent damage to her. This is too bad. I just stay out of her arc. She will do some decent damage. Like, this kind of reminds me of fighting the spider a little bit. Ow. Okay, she hit the horse there. I wonder if I can hit her with a, in our big snod. Oh, tail swipe. What did you get hit by that? I think I hear her big snout when she gets close like that. She leaves herself way open when she does the breath. Yeah, this isn't too bad, honestly. I, I could take her down easy. She's actually not even hitting that hard. Oh! I say as she fucking plugs my horse. I, if I got caught in that breath weapon, I'm sure it would hurt. Or that there, that would hurt too. Honestly, her attacks are slow and predictable enough. I might be better off, like, fighting her on foot. Ow. Okay, she does hit pretty appreciably hard. Uh oh, suck under John Dream. Yeah, I'm gonna get nailed on that one. Ow. Yeah, see, if I if I had been... Uh-oh. I'm gonna get burned. Oh, wait, no. I didn't. You know. If I had been on foot there, I could've just blocked it. What if I could just, like, circle around just fucking swinging at her? I think she's got two arcs on that. She's got one where she, she spews straight forward, and another where she spews kind of in a cone on the ground. Yeah, I can just kind of whack her on the nose as I'm riding around her. Ow. I still think I'd be better off on foot. Man, she, she's down below half now. Oof. Got toasty horse ass on that one. Yeah. Alright. If I can get appreciably away from her, I'm gonna dismount. Because while I'm on the ground, too, I can heal. Here we go. Alright, let's go. She's just attacking my horse. What the fuck? Ow. Oh, fuck, she knocked me for a loop. Oh, ow, got caught there. Why am I... Why did it unequip my shield? What the fuck? I just kicked a dragon because it didn't equip my shield. That's really an achievement. The stars of stripes hit right in the tits. That was good. Okay, I think I'm gonna want to like do a three hit combo and then block. Yeah, see, I got nailed there because I was doing the uh, 
the heavy attacks. Oh, I blocked the fire. One, two, three, and then block. Three, and block. There she throws at me that time. Well, if she does that, I can get a four hit. Yeah, that's going right over my head. And when it does hit, I'm blocking. Because of Shield Master. Oh, Tail Swipe. Can I block that? Oh, I can't. Shield Master lets me block it, though, because it took a bunch of stamina. Going down. One more hit, I think. I had those attacks miss. There we go. Call me a dragon slayer. I actually killed a real one, not just the baby. What'd she drop for me? Well, there's a fragment of power. Um, glass, a grilled steak. I'll eat that now. Some healing wraps. A legendary weapon repair kit. Nice. Some steel and a steel repair hammer. That legendary weapon repair kit will allow me to actually repair this uh, mace when it gets damaged. It's 100% repair, too, I think. So, I'll be able to keep this mace for a while if I need to. Um, I'm not going to skin her. I'm going to use the the, uh, the axe. Hopefully, I got her head. Good. Now I can display it proudly as an official dragon slayer. Oh, a bunch of volatile glands, too. Nice. That's what you're guarding? What the fuck is this shit? Come on, Funcom. The horse took a beating, but, uh, we're dragon slayers now. And the whole reason for going in there... I was to put this piece of shit out of here. So, boom. The map room. Spectacular, isn't it? You can use this to teleport to any of the obelisks that you've attuned your bracelet to, but honestly, this thing is a giant eyesore. You can't really do anything else with it. Well, that's going to be the end of the video, guys. We've done... We did three out of the four. We still need to survive a purge. Hopefully, I can get that to work. But thanks for sticking around. Uh, we'll try to get the purge done next time and move on to the next tier. And you can see our trophy is proudly adorning our crafting pavilion. Because we are now officially dragon slayers. And that makes me happy. Right. Take care, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll be back tomorrow.